My four sisters and parents and I were camped here. I think I was 10 years old and remember distinctly in that tree directly across the river here, seeing this spectacular bird was a western tanager. That was my memory of the first time I'd really kind of locked on to, aha, look at this incredible variety of birds and starting my interest in birds of prey. That intimate relationship that you have when you raise a young falcon from three weeks old and establish a relationship of trust, it's a deep dive into the natural world. Spencer has this phenomenal grounding in this place. He knows the Pacific Northwest, he knows Oregon, the coastal temperate rainforest, you know, intimately. He has flown it, fished it, hiked it. Spencer Beebe has some weird magic about him. He's deeply rooted in the planet Earth. Seeing the incredible diversity and resilience and adaptivity and the perfection that has evolved over years and years with every species of plant and animal drove me to a life of conservation. EcoTrust, I created in 1991 to practice at home what we've been preaching abroad and take care of our own rainforests and try to learn what this idea of sustainable development really meant on the ground. And uh, it's 23 years now, we're still exploring that path of what it takes to integrate conservation and development. Spencer's contribution is to push the edge of what can be done at the intersection of, uh, of conservation and the use of private capital. EcoTrust has extremely strong conservation values, but it finds ways in which to implement them and make them self-sustaining and to work inside of the marketplace. The notion is that development that considers the whole picture can actually deliver more value than if you're just in a single pursuit of a, a commodity or the single pursuit of money. So for example, in forestry, what we now recognize is that forests have value not just for timber, but also through carbon, wildlife, recreation, scenic values, water quality. And if you manage for that whole spectrum of goods and services, you're delivering ultimately more money, but also more conservation and more opportunities for people. When Spencer came with EcoTrust, they had something called Salmon Nation. The idea there was to restore salmon to the West Coast, from Alaska uh, down to Northern California. It was a basic fundamental economy of all tribes there. It's an incredibly rich history, the rainforest of North America, deeply connected to the ocean, the coast, the estuary, and of course the streams and the salmon that uh, spawn in the streams go out in the ocean and bring back mineral nutrients. Then indeed, when the bears go into the streams and drag the salmon back into the forest is an enormous contribution of the fish fertilizing the forest. To begin to manage the natural resources so that fish could survive was cutting in stuff uh, that, that I was impressed with. What we really need is a whole new system, not only of economic development, but of governance. So our geography is defined by nature. You think of yourself as a citizen of Salmon Nation, and then you think about salmon as an indicator of the health and well-being of the system. There's no reason you can't maintain healthy, wild, diverse, resilient populations of salmon and have a more reliably prosperous society. He has certainly changed my life and given me an incredible place to work on an incredible platform. And I would say he's inspired thousands and thousands of people around the world.